Oh, hi there. You've just caught me looking for a new job as a instructional designer, um, e-learning developer. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the job advert. Yep, all looks good. Requires instructional design experience, the ability to produce SCORM packages. I've got a video about that. But what's this? I need to have experience with Adobe Creative Cloud. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I do have experience of it. Um, what part of it though? It doesn't say. Hmm, let's, um, let's make a um, imaginary phone call to a recruiter. Oh, hi there, hi. Um, I've just seen the job. You say that you need um, experience of Adobe Creative Cloud? Yeah, which part? Of All of it. Okay, yeah, but is there a particular part? Will I be doing great? All of it? Okay, but what about if I just... All of it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. There you go, that was an imaginary recruiter I just spoke to. Um, not too dissimilar to some phone calls I've had. They're obviously a lot more friendly. Than that I tell you this because I've been in a situation before a company a recruiter an interviewer wants me to have experience with Adobe Creative Cloud um, and why is that a problem it's not a problem it's not a problem at all Adobe Creative Cloud is a very good piece of software uh, they want me to know how to use it um, it's excellent it's powerful the reason it's a problem is because Adobe Creative Cloud is a massive piece of software uh, in fact it's not one piece of software it's a collection of pieces of software and as a as a company you wouldn't want to hire me assuming I can use all of it when in fact you only want me to use one little element of it or two pieces of it. By being able to establish what part of it you want from me, not only does it make it easier for me to work out if I want the job or if I'm suitable for the job, also it means that if you hire me, you know you're gonna get the right person. You could be hiring someone who, who's amazing at using this part of Adobe Creative Cloud, which correct, they can use Adobe Creative Cloud, um, but when they come in, you go, well, we don't want you using that part, we want you using that part, and they go, oh, I don't know how to, and then they spend weeks um, stressing and trying to get themselves up to speed um, in using that particular product. What is Adobe Creative Cloud? It's, uh, it's a collection of pieces of software. According to Adobe itself, it's recommended for photos, graphic design, video, illustration, UI and UX, Acrobat and PDF, and social media. Let's have a quick look at the list though. What is what is in there? So Photoshop, Illustrator, and this is, by the way, this is what I'm saying, you know, all of Creative Cloud. Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Acrobat Reader, InDesign, After Effects, Lightroom, Adobe XD, Animate, Dreamweaver, Dimensions, Audition, InCopy, Character Animator, Capture, Adobe Fresco, Bridge, Adobe Express, Premiere Rush, Photoshop Express, Media Encoder, Aero, and Adobe Scan. Right? That's a big list. And when you say all, that's a lot of things that, that you want me to be able to cover. And again, some of you unfamiliar with this might be going, well, what's the issue with that? Well, Dreamweaver, as an example, is, is used to build websites. Am I, in my role, going to be building websites? Maybe, maybe not. If in the job advert somewhere it says I'll be doing video editing, then I can make a safe assumption. If you're then telling me I need to use Creative Cloud, that I need to be using Premiere Pro or Premiere Rush, maybe. But again, they're very... They're different in, the, in you know in their capabilities and you know and the difficulties of using them. And let's go into that more. And actually, a key point though: notice that Captivate, Captivate is not part of that list. Captivate, for anyone unfamiliar, is a popular e-learning creation tool, one which historically we have used a lot. In all honesty, and built lots of courses using Captivate. I did have a hiring manager somewhat offended when I stated that Captivate wasn't part of the Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, it is an Adobe product but it requires a separate license. Um, I'm telling you this because as a hiring manager or a company, please budget for that. Um, don't buy the Adobe Creative Cloud uh, as this person did and just go, well, why is Captivate not on there? Because it's not part of it. This video, by the way, this is not a moan about Creative Cloud at all. Creative Cloud is, is excellent. You know, I've, I don't currently subscribe to it, but I've subscribed to it historically for many, many years. It is excellent. It's expensive, but it's excellent. Um, so it's a plea. It's a plea to recruiters, hire managers and companies. Please, 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 please tell us what part of Adobe Creative Cloud do you want us to use? Uh, be specific about what's needed. Um, it's not only good for you, but it's good for us as well. And the example is that if someone, someone rocks up to the job, you know, they had the interview, they've got the job, and they're gonna be using Premiere Pro and Photoshop, and then you tell them, actually, we don't want you using Premiere Pro and Photoshop. You know, we just want you to use Rush and Adobe Express. I'm gonna be honest with you, they're gonna be probably quite disheartened because they're probably thinking, well, I'm using these real complex technical products to produce amazing results, and I'm somewhat limited by what Rush and Adobe Express can offer. Um, in the same way, the other way around, if someone's you know very, very good at using uh, Adobe Rush, um, 
which is you know with the or Premiere Rush, which is the um, a video editing tool, and then you suddenly say to them, "Ah, oh, I want you to be able to use Premiere Pro. Here's a video. Go and edit it." They're not going to pick up Premiere Pro in in half an hour. You know, it takes a long time. And never mind Illustrator. If you want to learn Illustrator as well, that's got a couple of days of work at least. Um, you know, it's it, it's a complex tool. It's a excellent, powerful tool, but it's a complex tool. Now I'm going to tell you from my experience what I think you'll be using. Okay, comment down below though if you've got different experience. If you've gone into a job and said, and actually they're going, well, actually we really want you to be using this particular element of it. We're using this, or you say, you know, in the job advert they're talking about how I must use X, Y, and Z, but in reality I only used so forth. So please comment down below, or you know, caring or sharing's caring and so forth. I use Adobe Express, uh, formerly known as. I think it's Adobe Spark, I think it used to be called. Anyway, I use uh, Adobe Express. Um, essentially, it's like Canva, uh, though I prefer Adobe Express to Canva. I just think it's a bit nicer. If you don't know what Canva is, or Adobe Express, well, it's it's an online tool to be able to make graphics, you know, infographics, logos, banners, that type of thing, really. It's really easy to use. You've got lots of templates on there. Um, there's a free version as well, which is excellent. It's all saved online. It is, it's, it's a very good tool. Yeah, if you're going to be producing a little advert for someone's birthday, it's great. Or uh, if you're you know, work related, you're going to be producing an advert to promote something. Or an infographic to go in your course, or you know, a little caption or a heading to appear on a video, then yeah, Adobe Express is excellent. That's what I do use. Also, as I say, it's free, so you don't actually need to buy a Creative Cloud for the basic license for it if you do buy creative cloud you get a, a license with a lot more templates on there um thumbs up for me on that one um I'm, I'm sure there's lots of you graphic designers out there scoffing scoffing at my inclusion of um adobe express and the mere mention of canva will, will have you already mocking me in your responses <laughs> just because all oh, right so graphic designers you know that's what you do for a job and you will be using a much more powerful tool than these things but for people like myself who just want to produce something that looks pretty as a one-off and it's you know 10 percent of my job then things like canva and uh, adobe express are perfect um, i'm not a graphic designer i don't pretend to be um, i can make some pretty stuff yeah it looks good but i'm not a graphic designer um, Adobe Express fulfills my needs. Premiere Pro, well Premiere Pro is a video editor. I'm hesitant about including this. I've seen it listed in job adverts before and the only reason I'm hesitant is that Premiere Pro is very powerful. With the jobs that I've done, I've not actually had to use Premiere Pro in my jobs. I do use Premiere Pro um, in my personal life uh, and sometimes for editing these videos and so forth, depends what effects I want to put on there. A lot of the time I use Camtasia and the reason I use Camtasia is I do a lot of screen recording and Camtasia does that. Premiere Pro doesn't allow for screen recording. So I do use Camtasia for screen recording and then just edit in that. And for 99% of what I do, it is, your Camtasia is perfect. Premiere Pro's over the top. Again, I'm not saying Premiere Pro is bad. Premiere Pro is amazing. You know, I've produced some really good videos which you could never do in, in Camtasia uh, using Premiere Pro. It is fun. You know, if you're going to be producing some, min uh, some music video for Rihanna or something, then absolutely be using Premiere Pro. But it's a bit over the top for what we want to do. Also, there's so many shortcuts to remember. You know, they actually sell keyboards or keyboard covers with stickers so you can put them on your keyboard so you can find or remember all the shortcuts. Yeah, it's a powerful tool. Uh, I say I'm hesitant to include it as to we be using this regularly. Well, it depends on the job, I have to say on that. You know, I have seen it listed in job efforts, so yes, I'll include it. Also, make sure you've got a suitable laptop for it, okay? Um, I used to run this on my, uh, I had an old Dell XPS 13 a laptop, uh, which did not like Premiere Pro. It had eight gigabytes of RAM in it, so, you know, just to make you aware. And this a few years ago, and, whew, so it, you know, if I told it to go and render a video, oh, dearie me, yeah, you, you could fry an egg on that laptop uh, if you did that. Yeah, Premiere Pro was, was definitely hungry for for all the ram and the processor on that and that brings me on to my next product my next product is premiere rush now premiere rush is a basic video editor it allows you to crop videos resize the frame add captions uh, and if this is all you're doing then then use premiere rush oh uh, you get excellent results out of it no it's not as powerful as premiere pro yes it's quicker and easier to use the learning curve is a lot less um it's a thumbs up from me on on, on premiere rush and I actually i saw an advert just the other day which said Specifically, the use of Adobe Creative Cloud, e.g. Rush. So thank you to that company. That's the type of thing we want. If you're saying, want Adobe Creative Cloud, Rush. That makes me understand the level that you want me at. If that said, you know, Creative Cloud, e.g. Premiere Pro, uh, it might put a lot of people off because they go, oh, I don't know how to use that. Whereas if you people can use Rush, also Rush, I believe it's a free tool as well. So um, yeah, Rush is good. 
Photoshop. Photoshop is the most famous of all the tools, I'd say. You know, it's, um, it's it's the tool that all the celebrities use to make themselves look even more pretty. Please comment down below if you use this in your role. Um, I've never had to use it in my role. Actually, it's a lie. I did use it once to cut out an, an image of a former colleague and put that image onto a mug. She loved it. Illustrator. Illustrator is a final product from the creative class week that I've been paid to use as part of a role and design some objects for a client as part of a training course. Um, I think it's a fire extinguisher, to be honest with you. Illustrator is an amazing tool. It is very good. Again, excellent end results, but steep learning curve. I had to go online. I had to learn how to use the product. I couldn't guess. You know, a lot of things I do, I can you know, pick up new software, I can just guess how to use it because certain functionality. Illustrator, though, I, I had to learn how to use it and um, it took some time. It's certainly a tool that you could be justified in needing to use, uh, but if you're not familiar with it, uh, if you're not familiar with it and you're claiming a job interview you can use it, get practicing now because you're not gonna be able to pick it up in two seconds. Uh, it does take time. So um, yeah, Illustrator. Mm, I think um, most of the stuff you're gonna be doing will be covered in Adobe Express, but yeah, Illustrator, I'll definitely include it. This is again where, where interviewers need to be quite clear with us. So what tools, what tools do I use most of the time for editing my work? So as I mentioned earlier, Camtasia for the videos, uh, mostly because I do a lot of screen recording. Adobe Express because it's quick and easy to make professional looking graphics and add them into my e-learning and the videos. Um, I use some no-code websites as well. So no-code websites essentially allow you to do things real quick and easy. Uh, remove backgrounds from images, make profile photos, uh, that type of thing. I use Snagit. Again, anyone familiar with, with Snagit? TechSmith product, excellent. Those are just screenshots. Um, but you do your screenshot, you can then blur out the bits or highlight the relevant parts and then copy and paste it into your training. It's real quick and easy. It, it's like the snipping tool in Windows, but just more powerful. Um, so yeah, I, I recommend Snagit as well. Not an Adobe product. So there I have it. And as I say, this is a plea to recruiters, hiring managers, companies. Just be specific about what part of Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, it's not about using it's not about my inability or our inability to use Adobe Creative Cloud. It's not that. It's just it'll give us a better idea as to the role and the experience that's needed and the skill level that's needed as well. Anyway, thank you very much, everyone, for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Feel free to comment down below. Um, you got something to say, put it down below. Anyway, you should now all stop watching this video and get back to using Adobe Creative Cloud.